Welcome to the social space, everybody. We're clapping now. Let me clap right here. All right. We are excited today because we have Alan Martin here with us, and we're going to yes. talk to him in just a second. I'm Chris Horgan. That is Jackie Hager. She rules this place. That's Andrew Bell. Yes. Let's get to it. We got to thank our good friends at Dude. Four Stars Auto Ranch in Henrietta. Then Falls Truck Center, our good friends. Uh, our friends at News Channel 6 and our great friends at Town Square Media could not do it without you all. So I thank know. you very much. We appreciate you. And Jackie, take it away. <laughs> well, first of all, we've got a great luncheon in honor of the women in our community coming up at Four Stars Auto Ranch. Nice. And if you've not heard about it yet, it's for those women that are in the fight of breast cancer have survived breast cancer in honor and in memory of those. So it is a free luncheon. We are flying in an amazing speaker, Ooh. Heidi Floyd. It's going to be held out at Henrietta. Now, I'm just gonna give you a little secret. Just the gift alone that you're gonna leave with from that luncheon is amazing. Uh -huh. So that ought to give you enough <laughs> excitement to say, I wanna attend. It's free. All you have to do is give us a call here at Hager uh, or email Emily at teamhager.com and book your seats. It is on Wednesday, September 27th, okay. 11.30 to 1, out at Four Stars, which is just a 20-minute drive to Henrietta. I'm telling you, you will leave there going, wowza. So there you go. Dr. Alan Martin is with us. Hello. Friends of the Wichita Falls Public Library. Tell us about you and how you got involved in that organization. Well, the Friends of the Library started in 1991. Back then, it was the Kemp Public Library, right. which is a really neat little building, but it is a little building. No. <laughs> and the floors were beginning to sag from the weight of the books. There were several people back then who decided we needed to have a bigger, more modern library. No. So several people got together, put in some money, created the Friends of the Library foundation. Uh -huh. okay. Back then it was a foundation, a private foundation, but that got it started as a nonprofit organization to support the library both financially and uh, with publicity and uh, all kinds of other support. Uh -huh. The Fedway, I think it was, became available, but the city bought that building and rehabbed it and set it up as a library with uh, facilities upstairs. The Friends of the Library had a small space I, I estimated it about 305 square feet Ooh. downstairs with a little store and we changed the books out almost monthly. Uh -huh. Previous librarian decided she wanted uh, that space to be added to the room next door to make a larger meeting room. So we were out of the library, we were upstairs for about six months and then Parks and Recreation decided they wanted that space. So I went out and found us another place to go. Um, the Methodist Church allowed us to use the Family Activity Center for what used to be Grant Street United Methodist Church. Uh -huh. And as our collection grew and uh, the facility grew, we were able to do more to help the, the library financially. But there's a downside. Mm -hmm. We are now in our own building. Uh -huh. We have title to the building, although we haven't paid it off yet. But because we're having to pay our own expenses now, we're not doing much in the way of financial support for the library, mm -hmm. but we still do all we can to get people to get library cards. We have applications for library cards at the book warehouse. Mm -hmm. We have community service people that come in to work off hours instead of fines. You know, instead of paying a fine, they can work it off so much an hour. And uh, most of them, but not all of them, have library cards. Mm -hmm. If they were resident of Wichita Falls, we ask them to get a library card. Yeah. For one thing, it would make the library look better mm -hmm. because they have more people than another. But I said, you go in there, you're going to be surprised at how much there's there for the children, the uh -huh. young people, mm -hmm. and you as yeah. an adult. Foreign mm -hmm. language studies, uh, magazines, CDs, DVDs, all kinds of stuff. Right. The same kind of stuff that we sell at our book warehouse but theirs is newer, <laughs> so it makes sense for them to come in. So, yeah. Alan, uh, tell us now, tell us where this warehouse of books, now where is it exactly? Okay, we are now on the Seymour Highway. Okay. It's 3124 Seymour Highway. The, what we use as uh, landmarks is we're in front of Fremar Valley, 
Yes. Diagonally across the street from the post office, which mm -hmm. well, a lot of people know about. Sure, sure. And immediately across the street from what is now the Denver Alternative Center. Okay. Got okay. it. I can see but that. But that downburst yep. storm that we had a few weeks ago yeah. ripped the roof right off of that place and, and a couple of air conditioners, too. Yeah. Did some damage to the post office vehicles, but not the post office itself. But uh, we're, we're all still there, and we came out without any damage at all. Uh -huh. And we thank the good Lord for keeping an eye out on us and keeping mm -hmm. us protected. Yeah. We have 7,000 square feet plus off-campus storage, well over 100,000 books in the building. Wow. So about Alan, 70 to 80,000 books on the shelves. Yeah. And the rest of the space is used for storage, mm -hmm. up eight feet tall. And uh, as we books. can find someplace else to store those books, we have more shelving, we'll have more shelf space, uh, because we'll have the floor space that we can use for more shelves and put more books on the shelves. Wow. Yeah. So you also sell books and you ship yeah. them all over the world. Yeah, but we're not in the pro we're not in the process of selling books to make money, uh -huh. but to sure. cover our expenses. Right. Our okay. hardbacks are a dollar, paperbacks are fifty cents. We sell the romances that the older ladies like to read for a dollar a dozen. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you have it. <laughs> and, uh, ladies, <laughs> dollar a dozen. <laughs> a dollar a dozen. <laughs> but the key for the last uh, about ten years or so, our children's books have been free. Nice. Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> the reason the children's books are free is when I took over as president because nobody else wanted the job. Sure. I got to think of the taxpayers have already paid for those books. Right. Yeah. And the, and the school district gives us the books because they don't want to have to haul them to the landfill or, or to the recycling center or something. But because they're already paid for, we couldn't, we couldn't see asking for money for them. I'm a retired teacher and a retired minister of music. That's where the doctor comes from. Mm -hmm. But we stress literacy for children, young adults, families. Mm -hmm. And to that end, you asked about where our books are. Mm -hmm. Our free books are in somewhere around 40 little free libraries, a freestanding book That's box. awesome. Every yeah. early head start, yeah. every elementary school, mm -hmm. Ryder High School, McNeil, uh, middle school all have access to little free libraries and for the most part when school's in session the church I mean the school librarians take care of them except two of them are sponsored by churches and they take care of them make sure that they're stocked and we have some other volunteers that go out and check them and and the one that was in front of the Huey Learning Center where there's so much damage from the downburst storm that one disappeared. Uh -huh. Oh my goodness. And we do this in conjunction with the Early Childhood Coalition and United Way. And United Way can get grants and they buy the little free libraries now. We used to put them together. We used to paint the wood and put them together and install mm -hmm. them. But the school district now installs the little free libraries. And that's why there's so many of them out there. That's yep. cool. And all of those are full of books for not just children, but young adults, adults. We always put some some of those romances in there. Uh, one or two <laughs> Reader's Digest condensed books, uh, some National Geographic magazines, Saturday Evening Post, you know, stuff like that that would be of interest to some people in the neighborhood who are not necessarily children. Yeah. I wow. love it. That's great. That was a wealth of information. Thank you, friends of the library. So Well, I'm very proud of our organization. Yeah. I like to call it a fantastic facility. There, there you we go. go. A little alliteration there. But the there idea is that there's so much in there, but there are so few people come in. Yeah. Well, speaking of, Chris, we this is gonna segment great into yeah. our next in our next guest. Yeah, loaded with literature. Yes. Thank you for what you do. Yes. Uh, because well, you welcome. provide a valuable service for this community. So we appreciate mm -hmm. you very much. Yeah. When we come back, we are going to talk to an author. Yes. She writes books. Oh, for that's children. awesome. For kids. Yes. I love oh, it. Yeah. So stay with us. Thank you yeah. again. Appreciate you Yay. very much. We'll be right back. This is a problem. That grind. That click. That constant leak. Whatever it is, you heard it last year probably put it on your to-do list. Ah, the famous to-do list. Well, that list gets long, and so do the days. But your AC still needs a tune-up. You could wait for that first triple-digit degree day. We're talking about consecutive days of triple-digit heat. Or you could call... James Lane Air Conditioning and Plumbing, this is Laura. Hey, Laura, good to see you again. 
we don't like 102 degree weather, but we're climbing the ladder. We don't prefer hanging out in the crawl space, but we're down there chasing the lead. And we don't like when your AC has problems, but we like to fix them. James Lane Air Conditioning and Plumbing. Welcome back to the social space. Andrew was not laughing as hard as I expected him to. <laughs> there we go. Yay, everybody claps. Yay. Yay. All right. All right. I'm, excuse me. I'm Chris. That's Jackie. That's Andrew. This is Katie. And you might recognize her uh, because she uh, used to be on television, on the news here. She uh, was. A, it was a few years ago. It was, it was. a few years ago, Some life-changing yeah. things have happened to her. Um, but tell us about, tell us, tell everybody who never saw you on TV who you are and what you're an author now. Tell us about that. Yeah. So I like to call myself a Wichita Falls enthusiast because okay. <laughs> I have always just been a huge fan of Wichita Falls. This community, yeah. I moved here in 2007 for a TV news job here and I signed a two year contract and thought I would leave after that. And I just fell in love with this town and the community and the people here. And it was just like the most welcoming and supportive place I've ever lived. Hang on, that is just so positive. <laughs> yeah, we need a awesome. big old dose of Where did you come positive? from? <laughs> well, I came from Minnesota, a very okay. nice community. I yeah. went to school in California. I did a summer in Nashville and a semester in DC. So I had sort of been lots of places. Uh -huh. It's not like coast I was just coast. super sheltered yeah. or something. Yeah. But I, I moved here and it was like, I mean, just, the most welcoming place ever. And That's so awesome. I met my husband here, which is another reason that I like it. He's military. He mm -hmm. was stationed at Shepherd going through the pilot training program. And then he got stationed in Florida for the last, for like five and a half years. So we moved there. He was flying the CB-22 Osprey. Mm -hmm. And then one day he called me and said, I have good news and bad news. The good news is we can go back to Shepherd to Wichita Falls. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was like, amazing. And what's the bad news? Well, the bad news is we had to be here in one month. Oh, gosh. So we're like, he's like, do we take it or leave it? If we don't take it, we might not be able to go back. And we're like, we got to have Wichita Falls. So we came <laughs> oh back. And so, so we've been back for about a year and a half. And Quick it's pack. just as delightful as I remember. Yeah. Quick pack of the house. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And so really you've quick. been really busy writing something very special. Yes. Tell us about so, this book. Yeah. So it was always sort of a dream of mine to write and publish a children's book. Mm -hmm. And I found like an old newspaper article where I was interviewed for a local um, newspaper back in Minnesota when I was 10. And I was like, I just want to write a book someday. That's one of my dreams. Aww. And so I, you know, did the news and then I worked in a, for a pharmaceutical company for 10 years and then about a year and a half ago I was like, this is the right time for me to finally write this book. Uh -huh. And so um, I started working on it and now finally this is the final edition and it's uh, reached the magic and it's, it's, it's here. That's awesome. So Ketty, can you tell us kind of the meaning behind the book? And yeah, so this story is told from the perspective of a library ladder. Uh -huh. It's a very heartwarming story. It's a story that celebrates, it's, it's called Reach the Magic, but it's not actually about magic, like magic tricks. It's about the magic of friendship and the magic of kindness mm -hmm. and the magic of giving someone a chance and the magic of books and learning and education and knowledge. And so this raccoon comes, he finds this forest library and he's like, I feel like I need to learn how to read. Like, I feel like that would solve some problems that are occurring in the forest. Mm -hmm. So he's talking to the library ladder and the la ladder's like, why, did, why would a raccoon need to read? Mm -hmm. Never mind the fact that he's a talking library ladder. <laughs> yeah. And um, kids think it's funny because he shows up looking in the window and the ladder's like, ah, it's a burglar because he sees his eyes. Oh, and he oh, thinks he's got like, the mask on. yes, he's like, he's going to steal my books. Mm -hmm. And so he says, you know, we're having some problems in the forest. And the ladder's like, what kinds of problems? He says, well, there's this dragon, this dragon that's uh -huh. in Chris's pocket. And he says, he came to the forest and he is so different from everybody else. He just can't, we, he can't be friends with us. Like right. he's so unusual. And so the wise ladder says very smartly, okay, I'll teach you to read on one condition. You have to then teach the dragon how to read. Mm -hmm. And the raccoon's like, no, I can't teach him. He's the worst. And he's like, that's the deal. So sure enough, as they start working together and as these two start to get to know each other, the raccoon realizes that the dragon isn't so different after all. And he's this great person, well, not person, great dragon, dragon. Mm -hmm. with a great sense of humor. And 
then in the end it all sort of comes full circle. They leave, they send a postcard to the ladder, and it turns out that they have started their own forest school to teach other animals wow. what they've learned and about being a good friend and a good neighbor and being kind. And oh that's gosh. awesome. That's that is so awesome. Great, great lessons, know. lots of lessons. So now how does yes. someone go about purchasing this book if they wanted to give it for their child, grandchildren? How do they get it? Yes, so it is available on my website, which is reachthemagicbook.com. And I'm happy to autograph any copies. You can specify who you want it made out to. And then there's also a bunch of community partners that have been um, stepping up because that's what this community does. So um, Alley Cat, uh, Vintage yes. uh, mm -hmm. Boutique, down, not Boutique, Vintage Mercantile, however you say yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, Alley Cat yeah. is, has some copies of it. And um, Lost and Found Books is now carrying it. And those are all autographed copies. And um, there just seems like there's more and more community partners every day. So yeah. that's awesome. That's great. I love it. Gosh. That's really cool. Super cool. Well, we'll certainly take a couple here, too. So thank you so thank much you. for coming and sharing. So this has been a good book. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Righteous Reading. It's a yes. Righteous Reading show. Mm -hmm. A Righteous yes. Reading show. Yeah. Well, there you go. So like you got that. Friends of the Library mm -hmm. on the Seymour Highway. And I've been there. They do have a great selection. And then Katie's book, Reach for Magic. So if you want that, just reach out to her through her website or go to mm -hmm. Alley Cat or. Oh, and it's also on Amazon okay. if that's easier for people. I uh, forgot yes. to mention that. Uh, that would be an important push right there. <laughs> Just search it on Amazon <laughs> yep. and it'll be delivered hey, to your do you door. Have any, do you have any intentions of writing any more? <gasps> so I actually have 11 other books that are all ready, ready to go and written. Um, my husband's like, let's wait and see if you can sell these copies of this book first because of course the writing is what I like to do, but sure. then there's all these other steps about you know, getting it out to the public and marketing yeah. and all those other things. So um, it's they, a long process. Are they based on the same characters? They're or? not. They're oh, okay. all completely different. Okay. So it's, um, yeah. it's uh, this was just the one that I felt like would be the best one to start with, the one that would appeal to the masses the uh -huh. most. And, <laughs> I love yeah. it. That's I love great. it. That's so cool. Here we go. Thank Good you. for you. Thank and we you. all knew her when. Oh, <laughs> she was an yes. author. Yeah. We knew you when you were a television reporter. I know. <laughs> Look at you. We a go mom, way back. a wife, an author. Yes. I love it. Thank good you. Good for you, Katie. It's so thanks. Good to see you guys and thanks for coming back to Wichita stuff also. Thank you. Yeah. Officially it's our from the pleasure. city. Thank you for coming back to Wichita. Well, we are delighted. Thank All right. you. We are going to take a quick break. Be back with the city space in just a second. Yay! Clapping! Oh Yay! Jackie's here. <laughs> At Four Stars Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, we take pleasure in the simple things, like an easy, no-hassle buying experience, simple, transparent pricing, and the smile on the face of another lifelong customer. And with the largest volume of cars, trucks, and SUVs to choose from, the only thing that won't be simple is choosing which one you want to drive home. When it comes to finding your next vehicle, the choice is simple. Four Stars Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. It's the season at Four Stars. incredible radio stations that's who we are we are town square media and we bring the best of radio to the north texas area wake up early with news talk 1290 that's us how about kelly raspberry on 92.9 nin yep that's us bringing you the best of country with 102.3 the bull that's us and rocking it all day long with 106.3 the buzz that's us we are town square media and we're proud to be a sponsor of the social space Welcome back to the social space, everybody. It's now time for the city space. We're clapping. Yeah. Thank you, Andrew. I'm sorry. Yeah, you bet. I cut yeah. your clap off. Yeah. You sorry bet. about that. It's all good. Gosh. Happened to me once. Hated it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so, all right. I don't even know where to go. Jackie's got, um, at the beginning of this show, we talked yeah. about a luncheon that's coming up mm -hmm. that is a, that's a really big deal. And, and I mm -hmm. think it's, it's worthy of mentioning again. Um, and I'm just going to say the same day that happens, the city celebrates its birthday. And I still didn't that's do right. the math. Uh, but you know, I'll figure it out. We just had the 40, 140, it'll be 143, I think. I think it's 143rd okay. birthday of the city. I'm guessing. We'll see. I'm close. I know I am. Okay, so tell us more about your luncheon and so how. So obviously, I want to know how you get into this. Well, how all you, you have to do in? is pick up the phone. So it's this oh. coming Wednesday. Yeah. And I bet we can find a seat for you. Oh. 
but it is, you know, Four Stars Auto Ranch does a program called Quiet Giants, and they do different events throughout the whole year. And this one is a celebration of women in our community who are in the fight with breast cancer, who have defeated breast cancer, and especially even those in honor and in memory mm -hmm. um, of those. So it's a gathering of women from 1130 to one out at Four Stars Auto Ranch in Henrietta. So you can bring a friend. We're gonna serve an unbelievable lunch and have an amazing uh, motivational speaker who uh, was in her fight with breast cancer and she will tell her story. And then we're gonna have amazing dessert at the end and a great gift for you to bring home that I promise you're gonna be excited about, like super excited. Um, but all you have to do is book your seats. And so I bet we can still squeeze you in. Uh -huh. Just give us a call here at Hager. Uh, 940-692-7999. You can email emily at teamhager.com and mm -hmm. we'll figure out a way to get you in. But it's coming up this Wednesday and we just don't want you to miss it. It's a great, so grab your mama, your sister, your hairdresser, your aunt, bring yourself and uh, make sure you reserve your seat and come celebrate with us. Let's yeah. go. Heidi Floyd, by the way, is your Oh my gosh, guest. she's amazing. Heidi, I met Heidi um, during the Nighthawks time. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, um, I forgot she was here for that. I, we've been Facebook friends ever since. So that was years ago. Yes. But I love when she pops something up and it comes. I have a lot of friends, so I don't see everything in my feed because it would take me two days to go through the feed. But her stuff, the stuff that she comes up with and I see it's on her amazing. Face, it is fantastic. So it, she's worth the price of admission alone. Just right She there. is. And yeah. it's, it's just a, an incredible free luncheon. Right. Uh, you just have to book your seat, but I promise you'll leave and say that was fun. Yeah. And so. maybe is the gift anything to do with 12, 12 books for a dollar? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. It right. does not. That was from earlier in the show. <laughs> and you know what that does right there? That's going to end today's social space. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of us are not going to be able to stop laughing. Now. I know. So thank you, everybody, for being here. Thanks Yay. to our sponsors. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Andrew. Thank, uh -huh. you. thank and, you. And thank you all so much. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>
hills are plenty, as far as the eye can see. Rivers wide, rushing to the sea. Mountains high, reaching to the sky. This land we love, America. From the coastlines of New England to the Carolina Strait. From the East Kentucky Rivers to the California Sand. From the prairies of Montana to the Mississippi Delta. This land we love, America. Oh, this land we love, where eagles fly above. This land we love, America. Oh, this land we The automotive industry is changing fast, but there's one thing that will never change. Four Stars Chevrolet's commitment to bringing you the largest selection of dependable, long-lasting Chevy cars, trucks, and SUVs. The kind of commitment that made us the 2023 Dealer Raider Chevy Dealer of the Year in Texas. Find a new vehicle today and a relationship to last a lifetime at Four Stars Chevrolet. Summer always seems like it'll last forever until it doesn't. Yeah, I guess it's that time of year again. Don't be caught off guard. Get ahead of the problem. Let James Lane make sure your unit's ready for 90 one day and 30 the next. Be ready for anything and everything with James Lane Air Conditioning and Plumbing. When you need us, we're there. 